This is Michelle Lam. She's a storyboard artist and graphic novel author, and she has thousands of thousands of followers all over social media. But her artwork is not full of incredible anatomy and atmosphere or detail, but she has still managed to find great success in her business. So what is her secret? Well, once you know it, you will have found a way to make your art a million times better and also make it stand out in a sea of endless artwork that is the internet. And incredibly enough, you don't have to get better at drawing at all. Now I'm going to say something that you might disagree with right now, but I promise that you will agree with me by the end of the video. And that is that making great art doesn't depend on your art skills. And this is something that I only learned recently, because look, I tortured myself for years for over composition and anatomy and lighting and detail. But once I understood what Michelle does, I realized that None of that really matters in the end. It was only recently, after years and years of following her, that I started wondering what was the secret to her success. After all, I've seen like a million other artists that can produce a lot more detailed, atmospheric and full of life images. And I'm also confident that most of them don't even have jobs as interesting as she has. But why do I believe that she has the secret for becoming a great artist? And before you think that this is about social media, let me tell you right now, this is not about social media. Even though what she does might help you become an Instagram sensation as well. See, a problem that we all have is that we want our artwork to look spectacular. Sometimes we want our artwork to feel like it is a fantastic scene in a movie. We believe that our artwork should look like this and not like this. But this is usually how our work starts. And you might be thinking, but Javi, this is a storyboard image and it doesn't matter how it looks because it doesn't go into the end product. And I knew that you were going to say that. It's a trap. Because while I'll just show you her storyboard work, Michelle is also a comic book writer and illustrator, both on social media and in print. And while she can do artwork that has a lot more elaborate rendering, most of her work just looks like this. It is simple, but it's also very clear and very expressive. But why is this important to you? Well, she figured out something that most artists don't. And that made her the great artist that she has become. So what is this secret? In one of her YouTube videos on her own YouTube channel, which you should check out, it's pretty great, she makes something called an Ikigai. It is a Japanese way for finding your reason for being. I'm not going to drive you crazy about how this works, but mostly you just have to fill out a Venn diagram. I really want to focus on what she wrote in the What You Love circle. And look what she wrote in it. She doesn't write, I love to draw. We all do. She writes, I love making an emotional impact. Telling stories. See, this is a very simple idea, but it's a very strong one. I wanted to find a word for this thing, the thing that makes you want to make art. I came to call it the compeller. And you may be thinking right now, I know what this is, I am compelled to make art. But think about it. Art is your tool. It is not what makes you make art. You need to ask yourself, what do you want to use this tool for? I don't know, man, I just want to draw. Listen, you're interrupting me a lot today. And I get what you mean, but what made you want to draw in the first place. Why do you want to make art? I'm asking you this because sometimes we believe that the joy of making art is a good enough reason. But when you're trying to make it as a professional, most of the time you're not going to survive on skill alone. A portfolio full of very well rendered images is just not enough. I know this because it happened to me. You need to find your competitor. Let's look at Michelle Zikigai again. Telling stories, making an emotional impact. She doesn't need to draw to be able to do all of that. She could have been a writer or a musician, but she chose drawing and so did you. I want to help you find your compiler. So we can try a very simple exercise. Write this sentence down and complete it. I am an artist because I want to and then complete it. It can be telling stories. It can be capturing the world. It can be creating new worlds. It can be sharing emotions or unburdening yourself with personal stories. You need to find what this is, because once you do, you will realize that the reason why you're not growing as an artist is not a skill issue. And creating art with purpose will make it stand out. Anyone that looks at your art will find something more than just technique mastery. They will find heart, they will find humor, they will find a story. Find it, your compeller your purpose. You can even go and find an Ikigai video and make one yourself. Once you know the reason why you make this, you will care a lot more about finding the best way 
to deliver your message. And a lot less if the hands are proportional or whatever. As for me, I want to tell stories. I haven't been doing any client work for a while because I'm working hard on becoming a better storyteller so I can start writing and drawing my own books. And I recently found something that made a huge difference in my artwork. And I want to tell you all about it. And if the video is ready, you can watch it right here.